can a common vitamin that hundreds of people take on a daily basis act as a silent killer? Imagine going to the emergency department with potentially fatal kidney damage after taking a supplement you believe to be safe. That is precisely what transpired with the 55-year-old woman whose story we will be exploring today. Watch this video to learn what went wrong and how you can prevent making the same error. A 55-year-old lady with kidney illness was brought to the emergency room in December 2022. Her body temperature was an abnormally low, 93 to gray, and she was noticeably swollen. She also had a very slow heart rate. Fearing that her kidney disease would get worse, her physicians examined her creatinine levels right away. Her serum creatinine levels had soared to 3,530 milligrams per DL, which was an astonishing outcome. A figure that was far higher than it had been only two months before. This meant that her body was overloaded with poisonous substances, her kidneys were failing quickly, and she was no longer urinating. She was consequently immediately transferred to the intensive care unit and started on dialysis that same day. Her kidney function was declining quickly, which confused the medical staff. However, after many testing, they found the odd cause, a common vitamin supplement that many people use on a daily basis. As it happened, she was seriously harmed by this supplement that seemed safe at first. The over-the-counter vitamin supplements can occasionally present a greater risk than prescription drugs. In particular, if taken incorrectly, there are five vitamins that can be especially dangerous. Today I'll talk about the serious risks that people with kidney illness have when taking specific vitamins. Even while it can be harmful to kidney health to avoid all vitamin supplements, it's important to watch what you put in your body. This occurrence is a part of a larger trend of hospital admissions brought on by vitamin mismanagement. Kidney stones were recently experienced by a TikTok influencer who used vitamins to boost her immune system. A 61-year-old man experienced severe discomfort earlier in the year, which was first thought to be pancreatitis, but was later linked to vitamin pills. Another disturbing example featured a patient who, after taking enormous quantities of a vitamin for just one month, developed acute leg cramps, incessant vomiting, and a dramatic 28-pound weight loss that finally resulted in the kidney's destruction. These anecdotes highlight the significance of knowing exactly what supplements you take, understanding the right amounts, and being aware of the hazards. Patients with kidney illness are especially vulnerable because their bodies are unable to properly eliminate extra vitamins due to reduced kidney function. This may result in a hazardous buildup that further jeopardizes their kidney health. Today, we'll examine five vitamins that have little known hazards. Certain substances may be hazardous if consumed in inappropriate amounts or forms, and those with renal disorders may be at risk from others. It's important to handle these vitamins with caution. We'll begin with the least hazardous and proceed to those that pose a progressively greater risk. Vitamin number five. Number five is vitamin D, which you may recognize from my previous emphasis on its significance. It is an essential ingredient for kidney health. That being said, it's critical to carefully monitor your consumption. Since vitamin D is fat soluble, an overabundance of it may build up in the body and cause problems like hyperphosphatemia and hypercalcemia. These illnesses are dangerous and have the potential to calcify the arteries. High vitamin D levels have been known to cause acute renal damage in some situations. It is advised to take vitamin D in moderation in order to minimize these hazards. To avoid arterial calcification, the optimal dosage is usually around 2,000 IU per day together with 100 milligrams of magnesium and vitamin K2. This routine aids in properly maintaining vitamin D levels. Additionally, another vitamin needs to be taken carefully, especially when it comes in synthetic form as it may be hazardous. Firstly though, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to this channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. The fourth vitamin, the synthetic form of vitamin B12, cyanocobalamin, 
comes in at number four on our list of issues. In contrast to methylcobalamin, which occurs naturally, cyanocobalamin is produced artificially for cost-effectiveness. This artificial form is routinely taken because it is frequently found in numerous multivitamins. But using it can come with a lot of risks, especially for those who have chronic kidney disease, CKD. The name cyanocobalamin suggests that it contains trace amounts of cyanide. While the body of a healthy person can easily absorb and get rid of these cyanide traces, things become different when renal function is impaired. The capacity to eliminate cyanide declines in those with lower glomerular filtration rates, GFRs, which may cause a buildup of toxins and hasten renal damage. Studies have shown that minor amounts of cyanide can be produced during the metabolism of high dosages of cyanocobalamin. This may accelerate the deterioration of renal function in those with CKD. Consequently, people who have kidney problems should exercise extra caution and use methylcobalamin instead. Six micrograms of this natural form of vitamin B12 per day are often advised, especially for those following a plant-based diet, as it is safer for those with impaired renal function. Because synthetic vitamin B12 is poorly absorbed, producers of these supplements often include 100 times the recommended daily intake, RDI, of cyanocobalamin. Although these elevated levels are meant to guarantee sufficient absorption, they may also increase the likelihood of cyanide buildup in those with renal impairments. To avoid deficiency, which can lead to vascular disease and anemia, renal diet patients must supplement with vitamin B12. However, choosing the proper type and amount is crucial. Regular vitamin B12 shortage can result in serious health issues, thus supplementation is essential but should be used with caution. People with chronic kidney disease, CKD in particular, are encouraged to carefully read the supplement labels to make sure they are taking methylcobalamin and not cyanocobalamin. They get the benefits of vitamin B12, which is necessary for sustaining good health without running the risk of cyanide by doing this. The third vitamin. As we proceed with our countdown, the third item emphasizes a vitamin that is widely taken but may pose significant health risks. Numerous negative consequences, such as noticeably higher blood pressure and an increased risk of stroke and cancer, have been associated with this daily vitamin, according to studies. More study points to the possibility of bone loss, elevated cholesterol, and potentially renal impairment in the general population. This vitamin is nevertheless produced and utilized in a variety of goods in spite of these risks. The synthetic version of vitamin E, alpha-tocopherol, should be avoided. The widespread availability of alpha-tocopherol in the market is the problem. Supplements, nutrient-dense powders, drinks, and food products are all added with it. This artificial vitamin poses an especially serious risk to people who have kidney problems. While antioxidants are becoming more and more important in the management and treatment of renal disease, vitamin E in its natural form may still be beneficial. Despite these possible advantages, I highly advise against using vitamin E supplements unless your doctor specifically orders you to. This is especially important in the case of the synthetic vitamin forms. The greatest way for people to safely add vitamin E to their diet is through dietary sources. For instance, sunflower seeds are a nutritional powerhouse that are high in organic vitamin E. The fact that just one ounce of these seeds can meet up to 66% of your daily needs for vitamin E highlights their importance in a balanced diet. Although vitamin E from natural sources is beneficial, alpha-tocopherol, a synthetic form, has serious side effects and should to be avoided. Take extra care while using any supplements that have large concentrations of this artificial component. Before beginning any kind of vitamin E supplementation, see a doctor, especially if you have any underlying medical issues such as kidney disease. The second vitamin. Because vitamin A poses a greater risk to kidney health than even synthetic vitamin E, it ranks second on our list of potential risks. 
When consumed in large amounts, this vital nutrient, which is often advantageous, poses serious hazards, particularly for those who suffer from chronic kidney disease, CKD. For those with compromised renal function, vitamin A is not advised in routine multivitamins. Products from well-known European brands like Centrum, Smarty Pants, or Sween are a few examples of what could be dangerous in these circumstances. Damaged kidneys make it difficult for the body to properly filter and get rid of excess vitamin A. This can result in a buildup of the vitamin, which can turn toxic and cause serious health problems such rapid kidney degeneration, birth defects, and liver damage. The most frequent cause of vitamin A toxicity is overindulgence in particular foods, most notably fish liver. Although cases of acute renal impairment resulting from food are uncommon, they highlight the importance of exercising caution. Overindulging in vitamin A-rich foods, such as some fish livers, can put you in the hospital because of acute renal damage. This emphasizes the seriousness of vitamin A accumulation that can occur, and that excessive use of vitamin A, even from natural sources, can have serious negative health effects. Many over-the-counter multivitamins contain vitamin A, which can be harmful to CKD patients with low GFR. Therefore, although vitamin A is necessary for good health, it should be carefully controlled in order to prevent aggravating pre-existing renal diseases. The first vitamin. Vitamin C is at the top of our list. Let's take a closer look at the extreme case of the 55-year-old lady who suffered irreversible kidney damage in order to highlight a serious health concern with a frequently taken supplement. The main culprit behind her health crisis was none other than vitamin C. She took numerous supplements, including calcium, digestive enzymes, cranberries, vitamin D, and most importantly, vitamin C, all of which are common and have important health benefits. While all of these were important to her overall health plan, only one of them was directly responsible for her rapid and serious health decline. Her kidney function was rapidly declining, which first perplexed medical experts. However, a thorough kidney biopsy that revealed a significant buildup of oxalate crystals was the breakthrough. This illness is specifically associated with high vitamin C intake. A daily dose of 1,000 mg of ascorbic acid, indicated for immunity and vitamin deficiencies, was terrible for her compromised kidneys. Usually, vitamin C is praised for its immune-stimulating and even iron-absorption-improving antioxidant qualities. However, in her case, the high dosage became hazardous since her body was unable to process and eliminate the supplement as intended. This instance highlights a more general health lesson about the need to moderate vitamin intake, particularly in people with weakened organ functions or pre-existing medical disorders. In healthy people, the oxalate crystals produced when too much vitamin C is broken down might cause kidney stones. However, in those who already have kidney problems, the effects can worsen and result in kidney failure, as demonstrated in this sad instance. This example also emphasizes how crucial medical supervision is when taking supplements, especially for people with chronic conditions. Before beginning any supplement regimen, people with renal disease or other serious health conditions should speak with their health care providers so that their intake can be customized. Furthermore, it is critical that people are aware of the signs of issues related to high vitamin intake, which include variations in urine output, abrupt swelling, weariness, or changes in heart rate. Early detection of these symptoms can facilitate fast medical attention and possibly avert serious consequences. Cautions and Prevention Although vitamins are essential for good health, it is important to use them responsibly, especially if you already have health issues. The story of the 55-year-old lady serves as a stark warning about the consequences of using supplements carelessly. It is a wake-up call for everyone to make sure they know everything there is to know about the dietary supplements they take. Get advice from medical professionals to prevent similar health problems. This video has shown the reasons why this specific vitamin is at the top of our list in terms of possible risks. It may seem unbelievable that kidney damage could be caused by a daily dosage of just 1,000 milligrams, 
which is not an exceptionally high amount. However, in the instance of a patient with chronic kidney disease, that is exactly what happened. This regrettable result emphasizes why the topic of conversation about this vitamin is so important today. Many brands specify this precise amount, suggesting that it is both necessary and safe. However, the reality is quite different and requires in-depth research. The majority of brands of vitamin C supplements recommend consuming 1,000 mg per day. The 55-year-old patient took the same dosage, which seriously damaged his kidneys. This incidence is not unique. Rather, it illustrates a general problem with several companies that advertise comparable amounts. Despite the widespread belief that vitamin C is safe, the evidence contradicts this. This is a sobering reminder that bigger doesn't always mean better. A modest quantity may be helpful, but consuming too much might be hazardous, particularly for those who have kidney problems. While a daily intake of 100 mg may be sufficient, going up to 1,000 mg may be harmful to your kidneys. Making sure your intake stays within a safe range is crucial. People who suffer from chronic renal illness must carefully control how much vitamin they consume. Not only is it important to prevent damage, but it is also necessary to guarantee optimal health. Furthermore, it's critical to comprehend the mechanisms underlying how vitamin C can result in such dire consequences. When consumed in adequate dosages, vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is water-soluble and usually eliminated in the urine. However, at greater quantities, it can crystallize and be ineffectively expelled by those with impaired renal function, which can result in a deposit of oxalate in the kidneys. Those with impaired renal function should utilize vitamin C supplements with caution, as this can result in kidney stones or worse, additional damage to the kidneys. It is best to talk with medical professionals who can offer personalized guidance depending on a patient's health and kidney function. This individualized strategy assists in reducing the hazards related to the careless use of supplements. There are a few safer options available for individuals who want to add vitamin C to their diet from natural sources. Foods high in vitamin C, such as oranges, strawberries, kiwis, and bell peppers, also contain other healthy components, making them a safer way to increase your vitamin consumption. I appreciate you listening, and please always be aware of the supplements you take. I appreciate you all watching. Bye.